Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Samsung One UI for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. This also applies to the Samsung Galaxy S9 or the S9 Plus. Uh, the interface is almost exactly the same. Now, a lot of people have seen me talk about the Samsung One UI, uh, but I'm still getting a lot of questions. People are asking me things like, what do the edge panels look like on the Samsung One UI? Or perhaps what is the performance like on the Samsung One UI on the Note 9 and such. So in this video, I'm just going to address some of those things and also just go over the full interface in a nice amount of detail for detail oriented people that want to see everything. So real quick, here's what the edge panels look like in case you're wondering. So if you go to the edge panels, uh, that's the edge panel. That's the to-do list panel that I downloaded but that's the regular quick tools panel, okay? It looks a little bit different. You have rounded corners around the edges. And if you go over to smart select, that's what you see. Everything is, uh, there's a sense of translucency uh, around uh, the interface. So everything looks nice and cool. And one thing I do like about the edge panels is because the Samsung One UI is all about one-handed use as much as possible. Uh, when you tap on the shortcuts over here, uh, it shows you all the edge panels that you have activated at the bottom so you can easily access them with one thumb, okay? So those are the edge panels. And some people even ask me, is the secure folder still going to exist? Of course, it's going to be there. So let me just show you what that looks like as well. So I renamed my secure folder as secret file. So if you tap on this one, that's your secure folder. And of course, you can put your password in. Let me put it right away. And that's what you're going to see. So the secure folder is the same. Now, one thing you'll be noticing uh, around the uh, all over the place is the modified icons. And of course, you're going to see some modified apps uh, that are Samsung installed apps. So if you look at the email, it's a different icon. Calendar is a different icon. Gallery is now a red icon uh, with a flower on it. You got the camera icon that's also red and the internet looks a little bit different. So all these apps also have a nice new rounded look and they all look different. Now, if I go over here and if I launch the calculator app, for example, now it's a green button, you'll see that it's been modified, okay? The buttons are again, more rounded. You've got more coloring uh, for the addition subtraction buttons and all that good stuff. And again, you have the usual options here. That's not a big deal. But again, the interface is different. And of course, one thing I like about this is, let's go to the phone app real quick. That's what the phone app looks like. Uh, all the keypads, recents, contacts, places are at the bottom for one-handed use again. Uh, same with messages. If I go over here, everything is brought down to you so you can easily access everything. Tap on contacts, conversations, whatever, or start a new text message by tapping this. Again, if you go to the settings, some people are wondering about the settings of the text messages you get the same stuff that you get on the Note 9 as it is right now with Android 8.0 without the Samsung One UI. Mostly it's a visual upgrade. Uh, and of course, the fact that it brings everything down to your level. Um, now, one thing I like is if you go to the dark mode, uh, which uh, changes the theme of the phone. So if I go to the display here, and if I go into the night mode, not the dark mode, the night mode, as you can see, you know, it's a, it's a darker, theme easy on the eyes at the nighttime that's the control panel again easy on the eyes for nighttime and the best thing is when you go to your apps they also go black and white i mean not black and white darker mode messages dark mode okay so if i launch it again it's going to be in black and if i go to the calculator again that's going to be black as well looks looks absolutely gorgeous it's just nice to have these uh, options to modify and customize your phone to your liking Okay, so that's the dark mode. And then some people are wondering, of course, about the speed. Let me just uh, turn off the dark mode so we can see everything better. Uh, the speed of the One UI is pretty good. That's the multitasking pane. And as you can see, I can just uh, switch between apps flawlessly. Now this is a beta, so you're gonna see one or two bucks here, but it's very uh, fast and very quick switching between apps. Okay, I can just look at that. No lag, super smooth, super fast. Uh, boom, and we're right inside, all right? On the notifications panel, if you pull it down, here you have your notifications. Pull it down one more time, your control center. You got a search bar here, which I wish was down over here for one-handed access. You got the settings, and you can also reorder your notifications panel right from here. So you got the button order for these buttons, uh, button grid, uh, usual stuff. You can have more on the screen, okay? 
everything just looks a little bit different. And then you have a contact us over here. I think that's just for the beta. Uh, that's not a big deal, all right? It might be removed or might stay there. Now, if I launch the camera, you'll see that we have a new interface. The, the new interface allows you to switch between modes just like that. So super slow motion, slow motion, hyperlapse, you can just keep doing this video photo. Much more easy, almost an iPhone-like interface, better than what we have right now, to be honest. So if you go to the settings, you get the same settings, but with an upgraded look for the actual camera. If I go into the settings, a lot of things are still there. So, you know, if you go to the uh, device care, this is the device maintenance. So we have the battery over here. Uh, we can tap on this button here, go to the settings. You got some new options such as the adaptive battery. That is an Android 9.0 feature. Go back over here, uh, go back. That's the storage management right here. Okay, again, if you tap here, you get a bunch of settings, storage settings. Okay, let's see what that is all about. Gives you a snapshot. You also have the storage analysis, also gives you a different kind of snapshot. Pretty good. Even talks about duplicate files and large files over here, as you can see, that you can delete to empty up some space. Unless, of course, you have the 512 gigabyte version, which really is hard to fill up. You got the memory right over here. Okay, so that's the uh, RAM controller. I can tap on clean now and it's going to clean up the memory. And uh, there we go. Okay, it's uh, performing its operation. Pretty nice and cool. And if I go back out, I can tap on security and that's your malware and, and stuff like that if you want to activate that. So that's the device care. If you go to the display, uh, we have some new things over here. Uh, oops. Let's see, navigation bar, which controls this area right over here. You can actually go to full screen gesture, so I can go home, just like that. Bring up the multitasking pane, just like that. And if I was in a menu, I can go back just like that, all right? Let me go back out here, just keep it like this for, for, for now. You can also swap these buttons, so you can have the back over here, multitasking over here, so that's great. And one more thing I really like is when you tap on this button, when you tap on the top icon, it gives you more options to do things. So let me show you with a, with a regular app over here. So calculator, where does that calculator? Right here. So if I tap this, I can do a pop-up view. So now that's a pop-up calculator. Minimize it, put it anywhere you want, tap it, and boom, all right? So again, if you tap on this, you also get the split screen view option. You can go like that. Nice way to activate split screen and deactivate it just like that. Absolutely fantastic. And of course, if you go back into the settings here, everything is coming down towards you. Go to display, bring it down towards you, one-handed mode. Uh, if you go to the advanced features and go to S Pen, you have all the same S Pen functions. There's nothing new in Android One UI for your S Pen. So don't even look for that. So let's go back, uh, motions and gestures. You've got all the cool features right here under advanced features, okay? Uh, such as the one-handed mode, the real one-handed mode. Well, let's take a look at some of the new clock styles that they have added. So if I go into the uh, lock screen, and if I go, the always on display is turned off right now. Let me just turn it on for a minute, but let me go into the clock style. So if I tap on this one, uh, and if I choose the lock screen clock style, you'll notice that I have all these different and new clock style. So these are the same ones that you're going to see on your Note 9 right now. Uh, but if I swipe over, you'll see some new uh, additions uh, to the actual uh, lineup. And if I cancel this up, if I tap this one more time, I can go to the always on display. And again, over here, you've got all these new additions. So that's for the always on display. Now, one thing with the always on display that they have added on Samsung One UI is if you tap on this, you now have three options here. You can actually, I'm sorry, not over here, uh, over here under display mode. So if I tap on display mode, you have the option to tap to show, show always, or show as scheduled. Now previously, you could only show the always on display uh, for these two options. So it was always on. Now I can do tap to show. So if I turn off the phone, let me turn it off, there is no always on display. But if I tap the phone, it is going to show it to me because it's uh, set to the tap to show mode. 
So that's going to save a lot of battery life, but still give you the always on display uh, that a lot of people actually like, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, but that's basically it. Uh, drop any questions, comments, or concerns below. I'll be making more videos uh, as we get closer to the new official version and new betas roll out. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.